a pleasure to see so many of you today, all over 15,000 of us. And to be standing here, from coming to this country as a refugee, to now your NUS president. To see the breadth and depth of our movement, to see lecturers, academics and library workers join side by side with college students and university students and postgraduates. It's incredible to feel the strength of our movement united in the face of this government's attempt to privatise our education, to overcrowd our classes, to sack our staff, whilst leaving the vast majority of young people with the bleak choice of a lifetime of debt or a diminishing job market. We are marching today in defense of post-16 education, but also to fight for the future of our society. We live in a time where we are confronted with crumbling conditions and pay at work, sky-rocketing rent, and fewer and fewer welfare services to help us through it. We live in a time in which we're told to fear and exclude migrants black communities, Muslims, where lecturers, teachers and nurses are turned into extensions of intelligence services and border agency through prevent and the ethnicity register in schools, where hate crime is rising in the post-Brexit world, where students feel less safe on campuses. We live in a time where so many want an alternative, but that alternative is taking far too long to take shape. The struggle for an open, accessible and critical education system is crucial in determining what tomorrow will look like. Because it is not simply a struggle for students or for staff in education. It's a fight for our vision of what our society should be based on. Social good, solidarity and collective growth. Not We need to be that alternative. This is why, this is why as NUS president, my efforts this year aim to focus both on the challenges ahead as well as putting forward that alternative vision. This is why the NUS priority campaign this year is to liberate education, to demand a fair, free and accessible education for all. make this year ahead one during which we fight for affordable housing. Let us make the year one during which we fight to say that migrants are welcome here and that they deserve the same rights and opportunities as the rest of us and we refuse to scapegoat anyone. Let us make this year one where our fight for education as college and university students is not separated from the broad and generation defining questions we all face a society. Let this be the time that we unite against all forms of fascism to combat Yeah. 